Hey, it's Shea Bay on Hot Bottle Full Play 1. I'm here with Pimpin from the Franchise Boys. How you doing today? Do you have a busy day? Um, pretty much this is my first one today. Um, but we do have a busy, busy schedule today. We got, we got rehearsal later on today. But right now, we, I'm just, you know, we're just chilling right now. Good. That's the way to be. Well, we are so yep. excited to see you in the city on October 23rd for the Millennium Tour. Turn up. How does it feel to be back on the road? Man, it feel it feel wonderful, man. Like, you know, we, we never stopped. We still been touring, but to be on that big stage this time, it, it's going to be very, it, it's going to be amazing, man, just to have that time where everybody can, you know, dance and, and just live it up like they used to live it up, you know, back in the day. I know everyone in the loop is so excited to bump the tracks from the early 2000s. Which song do you think gets the crowd most hype? Oh, man. I know, I know they're going to get caught off. Oh, I think they like me. You yeah. know, um, of course, Monica, but I think the most is going to be Lean with a Rock with you. So everybody can't wait to start rocking. And I think that's going to be the crowd right there. So I, I say Lean with a Rock with you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited to hear that. So who are you most excited to perform with on the Millennium Tour? Um. Well, you know, I, I'm always excited to perform with my brother, um, Bow Wow, you know. Um, just everybody, you know, Crown Club, um, uh, Trillville, Little Scream, uh, Arrow, just, just bringing back that um, nostalgia, you know, everybody just, just having fun. So, you know, I'm just happy to see everybody and just entertain the people, basically. Yes, we are so excited to see you. And then I am so sorry for the passing of Buddy, but I know he was a huge part of your group. Can fans expect a tribute to him in the show? Oh, well, basically, you know, like I said, you got to get those tickets and, and come out and, and take the show out. But, you know, we most definitely going to do Buddy, you know. But you got to come to the show to check it out. You know, I can't give away no surprise. <laughs> hey, I know that's right. <laughs> So, That's do you, right. do you guys in the group normally stay in contact when you're not working on music or you're not on the tour? Uh, yeah, cause, um, most of us like basically, you know, we all have our thing, our separate things going on. You know, it's it just like a big. Like, my brother Pale, he have a podcast called um, "In Apartment with Pale," so you know, I might step on his podcast every now and then, just you know, show face, and I'm also on a reality. A TV show called Grand Hip Hop Atlanta, and he then came on the show and did things for me. So basically, just keep keep everything going, just helping one another. You know what I'm saying? That's only right, y'all support each other. I gotta ask, do you guys think that your generation in hip hop paved the way for fashion as it is now? No, absolutely. Because I have this argument with people all the time. You know, especially with the YT. You know. We're one of the groups that really kind of put that on map on on the map, and you know we're not. I had an argument with um, my homeboy. He, you know, he, I was just telling him like we didn't create white tee, but when we came out with the white t-shirt song, we made everybody wear white t-shirts like us. Basically, the whole world had looked like the franchise boys at the time with the super long, tall tees, the baggy jeans. You know, everything different at the time. It was, you know, we we inspired that. So yeah, I just say yeah. And French Eyeball was a big impact in the fashion at that time. Y'all definitely paved the way for that. Cause if you search up the two thousands in hip hop on Google, that's all you see. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, some people, you know, try to debate it. But you know, it is. You know, people gonna hey, that ain't hey, you ain't doing something right. Exactly, and you know the truth. So do you right, think absolutely. that what made more of a statement, tall tees or forces? So you saying which one? Yeah, which one made more of a statement? The white. I could say I could say they both make a statement, but the white T-shirts because you know everybody can wear a white T-shirt. You know, businessmen in suits, white T-shirt up under they under they. You know, you can wear a white T-shirt shirt. You can wear a white T-shirt the, the hood. So it, it, it's a bigger thing. Yeah, so I got to go with the white T-shirt. Okay, I love that right there. And then, do you have any pieces of advice for the rappers of today? Well, stay safe because, like, you know, being a rapper t today is one of the dangerous jobs in America or in the world right now. And, you know, besides that, just stay around. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Definitely. Because everybody can do this, man. You just got to put it in the work. So just keep going hard. That's my advice. 
And then I think that's a huge part of y'all's career is y'all were hungry for it. Now, do you see that same drive in the rappers today or they're just vibing? You know, they're not going after it as much. Well, I think today's rappers, it's, it's like, you know, it's more direct to the consumer. So, you know, some rappers would just create something, just make it and put it out to the, to the world. And like back in the day, it, it's kind of different because like the rappers that, that's coming out today, their music are not really timeless. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and I, the music that we made, you could play that from years on top. You see what I'm saying? A lot of rappers that came and because just just making content, just to, you know, it's not really that much passion into it. A lot of rappers are really just trying to, you know, be the high streaming artist. That's it. Right. Yeah. So if you had to take any part of y'all's journey as a group or as yourself and do it over again, what would you do? Mm, that's a good question. A lot of decisions I younger, I would have I would have made better decisions because like I I have learned so much. At the age I am now, a lot of things I would have did are totally different because, you know, we're from the hood, like, we, we're a street cat, so we were looking at the industry a whole different way. Like, mm-hmm. coming into it, we were looking at the streets and not as entertainers. So, you know, now I look at it as an entertainer standpoint, and I did a lot of things totally different. So do you ever go back to Atlanta, like, go back to your roots, or do you still live there, or what's your more, like, hometown now? Well, yeah, born and raised in Atlanta, West Side, Allen Temple Bankhead. And absolutely, um, I ride through Bankhead all the time. Because sometimes, you know, I have to humble myself. Because right now, you know, I, I stay in a very nice neighborhood. And sometimes, you know, I just, on my free time, I just ride through Bankhead and just, you know, reminisce. Like, that's where I came from, man. I got I to gotta keep going because there's a lot of people who come back out here. You know what I'm saying? They want me to be, want me to be struggling so. You know, I just ride through the hood, you know, inspiration, inspire myself. Like, man, hey, man, you, you, you did good for yourself. This is where you came from so all the time, you know. And I, I still have homeboys that still stay in the hood. So, you know, I, I show faith there and now and then. Just, you know, show love. That's so amazing how you stay so humble through everything. Yeah, you got to, man. Like, we have learned over over, over years, like, it's what you put out in the universe. They're what you receive, receive back. Like, you're a, a messed up person. You do a whole bunch of messed up stuff. It, that's what's going to come back to you in the universe. So when you put a whole bunch of positive stuff and just keep everything positive, you get p- positive results. And that's why we're on a tour today. You know what I'm saying? Because we just stayed down and kept putting that positive energy into the world. And we're here today. <laughs> Yeah, and I know, like, a lot of people are trying to get into the music industry. Maybe they're having, like, the same struggles that you did when you first started. What would be any piece of advice that you would have for them? Well, like, today, it's, it's, it's I want to say it's easy, but it's easy compared to what we came out. Because when we came out, you know, we had to actually do talent shows, actually had to go press up CDs and sell stuff on the street. So it's different because now, you know, the, the rappers today, I'm saying, you have to do it just really be creative and make a hit song. And you have all the outlets on your phone, on your devices to, get, you know, get it to the people. So it, it's really kind of easy. It's all about the work you put in. So, you know, if you, you really want to do something, you got to put your, your all into it. Take it like a, a real nine to five job and you got to really take it serious, you know. So that's my advice for that. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, they just are more focused on the fame. And you guys are definitely more focused on the whole outcome. Like, people remember you. They'll remember you forever because you made such a statement. Absolutely, because our whole thing was, like, just have fun. You know, create create the music, but have fun while you're doing it. And one thing about us, we, we, hate, we hate it waiting on people. That's why our sound is different, because... I'm the I'm the producer in the group. I was I didn't want to wait on somebody else to make a beat. I made my own beat, and it created a sound that the whole world is now familiar with. And that's you know the, the snap move because that and we have our own thing. We weren't trying to be like other rappers, and we made other rappers want to be be like us. It was a time where if you didn't have snap in your song, it wasn't possible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or you didn't have that sound like us, you wasn't gonna make it. So you know. By us just going in our own lane, 
we created our own lane and people following us today. Shout out to Travis Scott because he just dropped a, a single, you know, franchise dedicated to us, you know, so it's hard. I really love that Travis Scott did that, and I feel like it brought everybody back to the Den Franchise Boys era. It brought y'all back as irrelevance. Now, I feel like sometimes people get so caught up in the new, they tend to forget the OGs are the first ones to do it. Yeah, it's all. I think it's just all about popularity. Like, you know, because we're not as popping as we were, so a lot of people will try to downplay it. Like, you know, what you used to listen to, it would be sometimes be hard to say, but I used to dance to the franchise boys. You know what I'm saying? But they'll say so. They'll say an artist that is, you know, familiar at the time, you know. So you know that's that's a struggle you have to deal with. But at the end of the day, you know, they sleeping on us. We're gonna wake them back up on this tour. So make sure y'all get those tickets. Cause it's gonna go down. <laughs> I know that's right. You heard him. So can we expect any new music from y'all soon? Um, like basically. Like I said, with, with me, um, I, Pale, he's working on something. I don't know exactly when he's going to drop it. Um, like, and I'm in my producing bag, so I, I have been producing for a lot of major artists. You probably heard a, a couple um, on the radio as well. But as far as making music together, like, we have songs that we haven't released. But, you know, like right now, we're really just focusing on, you know, on touring right now, just keep the fans happy with, with, with performing and stuff, but who knows? We, we might just end up just surprising fans and just give them something new. I know they would love that, and everybody's so excited to see you on tour. Where can everybody keep up with you on social media? Well, you know, you can follow us on Instagram at them franchise boys. Uh, individually, you can follow me at Pimp and Beats. Um, you can follow Pale at I am Pale. Uh, and, you know, just just stay tapped in because we we're stay we we stay creating content, we stay on um, doing performances, and you know this tour, you know we're gonna start, you know doing a lot more. So just tap in, man, just and just follow the movement because hey, we, we're gonna bring it back. I love it. So I know you are very busy today. Is there anything you want to say to your fans in the loo before you head out? Hey, man, like I say, shout out to my boy, Mary, you know what I'm saying? That's that, 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 that one of my partners, you know what I'm saying? And just make sure y'all, you know, when I come to the city, I want y'all to bring back them white tees. Man. I, want, I, want, I want to see the fans with, with those white tees and, and just ready to have fun. You know, I, I want them to be the crunkest when the franchise boys come on the stage. So, hey, man, because Lou always been showing them. Appreciate for having us on the, on the show. I love it. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Oh, no, I appreciate you for having me.